फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ दिनेश डांडिया एंड होप सो यू हैव गॉन थ्रू माय लास्ट वीडियोस ऑन द लूप्स होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आर द लूप्स एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लूप्स एंड वी हैव सीन द वाइल लूप हाउ वाइल लूप इज यूज एंड हाउ इट इज़ हेल्पफुल टू गेट दी मीन्स टू गेट दी आंसर और टू गेट द रिपीटेड फंक्शन प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन गेट द रिपीटेड वैल्यूज और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू समथिंग मीन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग रिपीटेडली देन हाउ वी कैन यूज द लीप लूप एंड इन टू और थ्री लाइन्स वी कैन गेट दैट आंसर सपोज यू वॉन्ट समथिंग फॉर हंड्रेड टाइम्स और यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट वन टू हंड्रेड और यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट द टेबल ऑफ द टू सो इन दैट केस इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग प्रिंट एवरी टाइम ओके वी कैन यूज लूप so earlier we have seen the while loop now we are going to see for loop okay so today we are going to see for loop for loop is uh, used mostly uh, mostly uh, people use for loops only why because it is easy okay so the basic structure is for i in whatever is my variable suppose ml print i now this is the only uh, structure of for loops here we have seen in the while loop that uh, we have to initialize then we have to condition and then we, we have to give condition and then increment so uh, this is for the while loop but for the for loop just for i in ml print i this is the simple for loop okay now remember one thing guys that uh, before going to the for loop uh, do remember that for loop is used in sequence only only not only in the majority uh, For loop is used in sequence. Hope you know about the sequence. We have seen uh, sequence uh, data types in my earlier lectures. Okay, if uh, you don't remember, then kindly uh, go to that lecture and uh, see that again and practice it. That uh, what is sequence and what are the different type of data types in the sequence? Okay, so what are the sequence? Suppose uh, there is one, two, three, four, five. This is the list. Okay, list is one type of sequence. Okay. Now I have to uh, print uh, this uh, this value separately. One, two, three, four, five. So what I will use for suppose the variable uh, for is ml. Ml is equal to one, two, three, four, five. So for i in ml print i. Just we have to do this. So uh, we will see uh, the practical of it. Okay, that how it is useful. But uh, the uh, the point which I am making is that for loop is used in sequence type of uh, sequencing only okay suppose uh, we have a range okay so range is also produce a sequence we have seen in the the data types only 1 to 6 suppose 1 to 6 range is 1 to 3 6 so what it will give me value 1 2 3 4 5 okay so what i will do for i in uh, range 1 comma 6 okay print i it will give me 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the use of for loop now we will see some examples of uh, for loop okay uh, okay i have made some variable ml is equal to dinesh chirag rishab virat rohit 25 26 27 as you know that in the list we can uh, add any kind of uh, this uh, uh, this string uh, or uh, the integer we can add that okay type of data types you can say uh, we can add Uh, this type of data types now so what i will use i will use for loop for i in ml print i here it is uh, dinesh chira grisha virat rohit 25 26 27 okay so this is my string type of data type then this is my uh, integer type okay so uh, this is the way we can use the for loop okay so uh, you can see we will get Dinesh. Now, uh, take one more example for i in range one to. I have to print one to ten. So for the range, the last one uh, is not get printed. So it goes up to one to. We will get the print up to one to ten only. Okay, print i. So here we are getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten range. Okay, this is some examples of the for loop. Okay. so now uh, let me uh, give you one uh, some more example okay that uh, uh, suppose 
Hmm. As we have seen, module. Hope you know the about uh, this module. Okay, what it gives? It gives me the reminder like uh, ten module five. Ten module five. What it will give? Uh, the remainder of uh, 10 divided by 5 by 5 that is 0 okay so this gives me 0 now uh, suppose uh, i will say uh, 12 module 5 okay what 12 module 5 will give 5 to the 10 and uh, what will be the remainder 2 so it will give me 2 okay now uh, there is one uh, uh, simple program uh, we have to make one uh, uh, programming in which we have to find the odd and even okay so the number given is odd or even okay so the number given is odd or even now how to find it the number uh, which is given is odd or even okay uh, so what are the even numbers even numbers are the number which are divisible by 2 okay so suppose if a number is divisible by 2 then it is even and if it is not then it is an odd okay now how how can we find out that the number is divisible by 2 suppose there is a 3 so how can we say 3 divided by 2 so remainder is 1 if remainder is 1 then it is not divisible by 2 if remainder is 0 then it is divisible by 2 okay so uh, even let me do this again okay so even number are the number whose remainder is 0 after divisible by 2 divisible by 2 okay so it means uh, like 4 module 2 is 0 now to find the odd and even okay suppose uh, I have to find it uh, in between 1 to 20 okay 1 to 20 now so what i is it for for what i will use the loop for i in now you have to uh, generate a sequence from 1 to 20 okay so for so to generate the sequence we have to use range function see uh, we have not uh, given the list or the tuple or anything so we have to generate uh, the sequence so to generate the sequence we have we are using range function how can we generate uh, uh, the sequence when you know the start point and the end point then we can use the range and we can generate the sequence now my uh, starting point is 1 here my ending point is 20 so i will make a range up to 21 okay 20 uh, if i will make range up to 21 then my 20 will get print so for i in range 1 to 21 now i will use if function okay i will use the conditional statement because uh, if the number is divisible if i module 2 is equal to 0 so if my i module means my remainder is equals to 0 then print even else print odd simple okay now we can see see odd even odd even okay it is not looks like uh, it is not good so we will do some changes now we will use f string oh hope you know the f string i have explained in the last lectures uh, if you don't know then kindly follow my last lectures uh, where i have uh, explained you the use of f string so what i will say i is even okay so i what is i i is the here uh, the function the variable i i i is odd okay now i will print okay uh, let me see here is i see one is odd uh, one is odd let me remove one i will go from two okay so two is even three is odd okay now you can see that uh, i am getting every value okay so here we can see that 20 is even, uh, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, 5 is odd, okay. So now it is giving me even and odd. Now I, I want only even only. So what I will say that I will do this only. Okay, now we are getting only even. Suppose uh, uh, you want uh, the table also, okay. Now the, so we are making a table, okay. 
now we will make a table of two how can we make uh, if you know how to make it then kindly pause the video and make uh, the table of two like two one ja two two uh, two cross uh, two is equal to four like that so for that uh, what i will use for uh, i in range of uh, range of 1 to 11 okay now print uh, what do you have to print print uh, f string i f string 2 cross uh, i is equal to i cross 2 okay sorry now here it is fantastic here it is my table 2 under 2 2, uh, uh, 2 cross 2 is equal to 4 so using for loop we can make a table also okay Th this is one of the examples of uh, the for loop okay how can we use the for loop there are some more examples using the for loop uh, that uh, for an example we can say suppose there is uh, one condition that ml is equal to uh, we can make uh, one list 2, 3, 4 and 5 ok now my output requirement is output is what is my output required output required is 4, 6, 8 and 10 this is my output now what I would I, uh, I have to uh, multiply each and every value inside the list by 2 ok so how can we how can we make this happen if you want to try by your own then kindly pause the video and make it happen okay if not then try it but try by your own first time then uh, if you don't get it no issue uh, uh, you can see it from here okay so uh, our uh, list is ml2345 okay so i will go step by step so i will use the loop for i in why why i am going to use the loop because uh, here you can see that uh, each number each value i have to multiply so i want uh, to fetch each value that's why i have to use loop for loop print i okay now i am getting two three four five okay so for that uh, what i will make okay so uh, now what i will do hmm. okay you are getting this now as you know there is an indexing function okay what is indexing that's the uh, ml of 1 is equal to 2 3 okay that's 0 1 2 3 now what i will do i will make uh, uh, my loop i will run my loop four times 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 3 4 the length of the tube so what i will do i will take a range of length of uh, ml okay and uh, ml is equal to ml ml into is equal to just a second just a second guys ml of i okay into is equal to 2 now what i will do ml of i into is equal to 2 print ml here it is <laughs> now how i have done this let me show you i will use uh, snipping tool so that uh, sorry let me use the snipping tool hmm. so how i have done this now let me show you okay so so here it is now see I have a uh, <coughs> list of 2, 3, 4 and 5 and I have to convert it to 4, 6, 8 and 10 means each value I have to multiply by 2 ok now uh, I one thing I know that I have to run loop 4 times because there are 4 values and I have to multiply each value by 2 so I have to run my loops 4 times now how can I run my loops 4 times? I will run my loop ko run 4 times. Kaise there are two options. The first option is that I will run this ml. Ko hi. 
या फिर मैं इसकी लेंथ देखूं लेंथ कितनी है मेरी लेंथ ऑफ एम एल इज फोर सो आई विल यूज द रेंज ओके माई रेंज ऑफ फोर रेंज ऑफ फोर वट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ रेंज ऑफ फोर जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री ओके दिस इज माई आउटपुट एज यू नो द रेंज इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो एंड एंड सेट थ्री इफ इट इज इफ इट इज फोर देन माई रेंज इज एट एंड सेट थ्री नाउ if you uh, watch carefully this uh, uh, list uh, so we know the indexing so indexing of 2 3 4 5 is like this only that at 0 there is 2 at 1 there is 3 and at 2 there is 4 and at 3 there is 5 okay so what i will do if i will use ml of 0 ml of 0 is 2 ml of 0 is 2 okay मेरा एम एल ऑफ जीरो टू आया एम एल ऑफ वन ठीक है एम एल ऑफ वन यानी मेरा वेरिएबल जो लिस्ट है ये मेरा लिस्ट है लिस्ट का फर्स्ट इंडेक्स लिस्ट का फर्स्ट इंडेक्स क्या है थ्री उसी तरह से लिस्ट का सेकंड इंडेक्स क्या है मेरा फोर लिस्ट का थर्ड इंडेक्स मेरा क्या है फाइव ओके फाइव अब मैंने यहाँ पे क्या किया है हेयर आई हैव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू ओके सो दिस एम एल ऑफ आई स्टार इज इक्वल टू टू इट मीन्स इट मीन्स एम एल ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू एम एल ऑफ आई इन टू टू ओके सो माई एम एल इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू एवरी टाइम सो जब यह यहां पर रेंज करूंगा तो जीरो सो दिस आई इज जीरो हियर सो फॉर द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट इटरेशन सॉरी फॉर द फर्स्ट इटरेशन my value of uh, i is 0 for the first iteration first uh, iteration i is equal to 0 so ml of 0 is equal to ml of 0 into 2 what is my ml of 0 it is 2 so 2 so ml of 0 meri value update ho jayegi 4 see list is an इन लिस्ट वी कैन चेंज दी वेरिएबल ओके इट इज म्यूटेबल सॉरी लिस्ट इज म्यूटेबल सो माई एम एल ऑफ जीरो हैज बीन अपडेटेड टू फोर सिमिलरली फॉर सेकेंड इटरेशन फॉर सेकेंड इटरेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन सो माई आई इज वन हेयर सो एम एल ऑफ आई सो एम एल ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू एम एल ऑफ वन into two so what is my ml of 1 so here is my 0 here is my 1 3 so ml of 1 is 3 so 3 cross 2 is equal to 6 so this way you can update the value of list okay so hope you have understood what's the use of for loop and how it is useful okay <coughs> we will see some more examples of the for loop in the coming lectures but hope you have understood the basics of for loop okay how this uh, loops get iterate okay how the iteration happened okay guys thank you guys hope you are following my lectures on the continuous basis do practice and do follow my page and i will bring some more uh, interesting projects on python which will be very much helpful for you okay thank you guys bye guys